Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain the theory of uh, deletion in an MV search tree. So we have dealt with the insertion in an MV search tree in our earlier videos. In this video I am going to explain the theory portion of the deletion in an MV search tree, the approach uh, in the uh, in some technical jargons. I am just going to use some technical jargons I have written on the board. So. Uh, in this video, I am just going to explain the points, uh, what may be the cases of deletion, in which case uh, we are going to delete and in what way we are going to delete uh, a particular node in an MVA search tree. Uh, so we have dealt with uh, four of those cases and uh, we have written the theory and the procedure which is to be followed in case of the deletion in MVA search tree. So we are going to follow, give an example and show the deletion process of uh, of many cases of several cases of deletion in some later videos but in this video I am going to explain the points uh, the cases of the different cases of the deletion. So uh, suppose uh, we if we consider this portion as a portion of the MV search tree and suppose this k is a key value k is nothing but a key value and these are the respective pointers to the child nodes of uh, the key values up above. So this uh, suppose this k has two child nodes, two pointers to uh, leading to two child nodes and one pointer that is the pointer which uh, points to the left uh, child node is ai and the pointer which points to the right child node points to uh, is aj. So these are nothing but addresses of the child nodes or the addresses of the left subtree or the right subtree coming from this uh, particular node containing the key value k. So if uh, this is the case and we are to perform the deletion operation in an MVA search tree, we can encounter uh, many different cases in which we have to delete. Uh, a particular node in a particular fashion yeah, from an MV search tree. So the first case is the most simple, there, there is the simplest case that is if uh, AI is equal to AJ is equal to null then delete K. What is that? This is just written like this. Suppose this uh, AI is a null pointer and AJ is a null pointer. So if both of them are null pointers then we have to simply delete the key value then we have to simply delete the uh, key value k that is this one and suppose if uh, we have a case like this which is given in the number 2 point that is if ai is not equal to null and aj is equal to null that is we try to say we mean to say that uh, ai not equal to null means this has a this ai is a pointer to a finite uh, subtree that is the left subtree is there and the aj is null means there is no right subtree uh, leading uh, from this portion that is aj is equal to null. In this case what we have to do is that what I have written over let me just read it out if ai is not equal to null and aj is equal to null then choose the largest of the key elements then choose the largest of the key elements k dashed then choose the largest of the key elements k dashed in the child node pointed to by ai delete k dashed and replace k by k dashed. So we have to in this case we have to choose the largest of the key elements k dashed from uh, in the child node pointed to by ai because ai is not equal to null so it, ha it has a left uh, subtree that is a finite left subtree is over there so we have to take out the largest largest from the largest value key value that is the k dashed we have just designated this k dashed uh, for the largest value on ai so this k dashed is to be taken out uh, in the from the child node pointed to by ai then we have to delete the k dashed delete k dashed from its original position and replace k by k dash that is we will delete this k we will just override this k, k by the value k dashed and uh, delete the k dashed from its original location. 
so this is this is the procedure which we follow in case of where the left subtree is non null and the right subtree aj points to null and if this the if the reverse of this number 2 case occurs which we have written in the point number 3 that is if ai portion is null and if aj portion is not null then we have to choose uh, the key element a uh, key element k double dash will just designate it as double dashed in a way just uh, in the process uh, we can say just the vice versa method of the previous method that is we are going to choose the largest element in the number two case we are here going to choose the smallest of the key elements from the right portion that is from this uh, aj portion which is the not non null uh, uh, which is which leads to the non null uh, right subtree so i have written likewise if ai not equal to null and aj not equal to null then choose the smallest see compare this with the previous case that is we choose the largest of the key elements k dashed in the child node pointed to by ai and now we are going to do the opposite case the reverse case just just the vice versa then choose the smallest of the key elements k double dashed from the subtree pointed to by aj then delete k dashed k double dashed and we have to delete the k double dash from its original location and then we are going to replace the key value k which is to be deleted by by k double dash that is we are going to overwrite the k with the k double dashed value and we are going to delete k double dash from the original location so this is the approach which is to be followed in the number three situation or the number three case in the number four case this is uh, a bit different from the other three cases whereby uh, wherein we see that uh, if both ai and aj are not null that is if ai is not equal to null and aj is not equal to null as well in that case we have both the options which we have got from the number two and the number three cases that is either we can take the largest of the key elements from the left subtree pointed to by ai or we can take the smallest of the key elements k double dashed as was described in the previous case that is the number three case we can take the smallest of the key elements k double dash from the subtree pointed to by aj and re replace k either by k dashed or by k double dashed and if we replace k by k dashed we have to delete the k dash from the original location and if we choose the k double dash value to replace the key value k we are going to delete the original location of k double dashed and replace k by k double dashed so these are the these are the four cases which we can encounter in the case of the deletion in an mv search tree so this is the theory portion i have dealt with in this video and uh, the example which which will follow which will just uh, help you to understand it in a better way uh, will be given in a later video so i will recommend you to just watch the later video for the example of this sort of deletion in, in an mv search tree so if you have any doubts and queries pertaining to this entire explanation which uh, we have gone through so far you can well post your doubts and queries into the comment section below so that I can address them. Thanks for watching this video.